I authorize the National Security Agency to intercept international communications in which one party has known links to al-Qaeda and related terrorist groups. Our efforts are focused on links to al-Qaeda terrorists who want to harm the American people. If there are people inside our country who are talking with al-Qaeda, we want to know about it. It was a, a big blow for all of us, really. Uh, Akid, Sahim, myself. They were listening to, well, not only our conversations, but uh, everyone's, really. I, we couldn't even do that thing we used to do, where we pretend to be telemarketers. I, I think the main point that, we're, that we need to make here is that, you know, we can't plan attacks of terror unless we can pick up the phone and, you know, boop, 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 boop. Uh, hello? You said, uh, it is Ahid. I would like you to please go and blow up the Tri-County Mall at like 3 o'clock after lunch on Thursday. Whatever, like this was easy stuff, you know, but we couldn't even do that stuff. We couldn't do anything. We didn't know what to do. We were just, we were stuck. Um... I think it was Sahim, actually, that first came up with the idea. He was all like, I heard about this website, you know? I think it could really help. Yes, uh, I was watching the Anderson Cooper, and uh, they did a story on th this website that I, I had heard of, but I had never had the time to check it out. Uh, and it dawned on me, uh, if we can't use the phone for planning terror, why can't we use this website for planning the terror? We all signed up the next day. It was that simple. I check mine every day. Okay, I check mine like four or five times a day. But what do you want? It's really addicting. Last time, my friend Asir, he left me a comment. Thanks for the ad. He's very thoughtful. And, and look here, I have a new friend request. Oh man, it's another band. I don't want to be friends with these stupid bands, but they add me all the time. I'll get maybe one event invite a week. And I'll look through, you know, to see if anyone else is going. And then I'll find someone. And I'll be all like, that guy's on MySpace? I did not know that guy was on MySpace! And I love putting up pictures of myself. I even bought a MySpace CD, because Tom told me he would give me four more pictures. That Tom, he may be an infidel, but he is one shrewd businessman. One time, I got a friend request from Usama, and I was all like, Usama wants to add me? Usama knows me? <sighs> but, but then I realized, of course, it is not Usama, it is someone pretending to be Usama. Then I became really sad. How many times a day? OMG, I, I never closed the browser. I, I know, I should be working and, and planning terror attacks. Uh, and I say to myself, I say, Sahim, you get back to work and get off MySpace. But then, I think, is one more look at Tila Tequila really going to hurt? So let's just say for argument's sake, okay, that I were to go to the Walmart today with a bomb strapped to my body and I would blow the place up and kill all those infidels, you know? And I would go to the right hand of Allah and I'd be served by 72 dark-haired virgins whose only desire it is to please me and milk and honey would flow like water and that would be great and everything. But what if tomorrow somebody really cool adds me on MySpace? And it's like, you know, I can't accept the request. It's like, oh, sorry. He could not accept your request because he's laying in rubble in Walmart, right? Is it really worth it? Do you remember the uh, MySpace the movie on the YouTube? Yes. <laughs> I, oh, I love that. I love it. Uh, the, it's my favorite part, especially, is when the guy is talking to the girl, uh, who is not always as cute on the MySpace yeah. as she is when he meets her in out, outside of MySpace. <laughs> I tell you, that happens all the time. It's, it's true. Yes, it it's true. Yes. Oh, genius. <laughs> Praise Allah. Yeah.